Welcome back to YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and today Google released Android 12 Beta 3.1 I thought at first that this update will only include some bug fixes, but I found some extra features that I wanted to share with you. Just a quick reminder before starting, the wallpapers and my Amazon affiliate links are in the description below if you want to check them out. And now let's go through the new changes of Android 12 Beta 3.1. So let's start with the build number. It's SPP3.210618.016 and the update size is very small on all Pixel models. In my case, it was only 2.93 megabytes on the Pixel 5 and less than a megabyte on the Pixel 4a. Despite it's a small size, but I got a big jump in the performance of my Pixel 5 and here are the results of Geekbench 5 before and after the update. As you see here, before the update, I got 1,354 points in the multi-core score and after installing the update, I got 1,574 points, and that's about 16% improvement. And this is my first time to get a big jump like this in the performance of my Pixel 5. Even while using Android 11, this phone never exceeded the 1400 mark, but now I'm getting 1,574. So it seems like Google is taking serious steps to improve the performance of Android this year. So let's wait and see what's going to happen in the future. Next. The always on display get a very small change. Now you can see the profile picture of your priority conversations on the always on display, which is something I spotted in Google's IO event and shared with you in my previous video talking about what to expect in Android 12 beta 3. And finally, we have it here in beta 3.1. And that makes me more confident that what we have seen in the event is very close, if not identical to what we will get in the future. Next, the bubbles. And it got some visual tweaks. The first one is the faster animation. Now when you tap on it, it will open much faster than before. And the manage button is now using a pill shaped design with a dark gray fill color. And I think the actual text bubble looks different as well. I don't have a reference for this, but let me show you how it looks. And please let me know in the comments if you think the same. Now let me share with you some random changes I spotted in Android 12 beta 3 before installing this update, but I didn't mention in my previous videos. And the first one is in the notifications shade. Now when you receive an animated sticker, you will see the animation playing in the notifications shade, which is something I didn't see before. Next, the wallpaper and the style app. If you are using any of the stock wallpapers like this one, for example, and then go again to the same place, you will see this is the only wallpaper that has a circular thumbnail and this will give you a hint that this is the one currently active on your home screen. And by the way, this is one of the three wallpapers Google released a few days ago for the friendship day that you can find under the curated culture category. Next, when you charge your phone while it's powered off, you will see this new charging animation. Next, Gboard. And it got a new theme called Dynamic. When you activate this one, the keyboard colors will change automatically based on the color palette you choose in the wallpaper and the style app. And the last thing to share with you in this video is the bug fixes you will get with Android 12 beta 3.1. As per the release notes, there are three important fixes. The first one is an issue that caused some devices to get stuck in a boot loop after restarting the device. The second one is an issue that sometimes caused the system UI to crash. And the last one is a fix for an issue that sometimes caused the Android low memory killer daemon to excessively kill processes. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I spotted in Android 12 beta 3.1. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.